We begin tonight in our South Carolina Capitol newsroom. Lawmakers are mourning the passing of a longtime colleague. WSAB's Jason Raven shares what we've learned about the death of State Senator Hugh Leatherman. Senator Leatherman was first elected to the South Carolina Senate back in 1980. Now he was in the middle of his 11th term here at the State House and served many years as the Senate Finance Chairman. Senator Leatherman was considered one of the most powerful state lawmakers at the South Carolina State House. Now, he spent decades overseeing the state budget while serving as the Senate Finance Chairman. In his 40 years in the state Senate, Leatherman clashed with critics, members of his own party, and even governors. Whatever you do, some folks will say you're gaming the system. Now, colleagues say he was always trying to push South Carolina forward. The Senator Leatherman played a role in building up the state's business economy over the last few decades, including supporting tax incentive packages that help lure businesses like Boeing to South Carolina. Leatherman also sat on a number of oversight boards, like the State Fiscal Accountability Authority and the Joint Bond Review Committee. A new terminal at the Port of Charleston was named after him. A Senate redistricting subcommittee held a moment of silence Friday morning to remember Senator Leatherman before their meeting. A life well lived, not just as a person, uh, as a father, as a grandfather, uh, as a great grandfather, a husband, uh, a, a, a member of the Florence community, and a member of this state, and who has taken such a uh, proactive interest on behalf of this state with so many developments. A Leatherman died at his home from cancer, but his family says up until his last days he was active in the Florence area. Leatherman's family released a statement Friday morning. They wrote, ever the stubborn optimist, he had legislation drafted and received budget briefings for the next legislative session from his hospital bed. The governor's office says flags here in South Carolina will be lowered to honor Senator Leatherman for his service to South Carolina once funeral arrangements are made and announced. In Columbia, I'm Jason Raven.